Good morning. It is Monday, April 20th. We are back from spring break and we are going to get right into it. So reading today is going to be Messy Mike on willbooks.com. And afterwards, uh, you will ask your child, is their room messy? How do they or organize their room? Um, if their room isn't messy, what, do they, what are the steps they take to make it not messy? In language, we are starting pronouns, which is kind of new for your child, and I uh, might end up making a video to help them with this. Basically, pronouns are nouns that are replaced with another word that means the same thing. So, for example, it, they, we, he, him, she, and I can replace the name of a girl, the name of a boy, or the name of an object. So for example, I can kick blank very far. Instead of the actual word soccer ball or ball, they need to find which one of these words could be used instead of soccer ball. Which word could be used instead of the girl? Blank is on my team. What's another word for the girl? They is on my team. No, we is on my team. No, and eventually getting to she is on my team because it's a girl. So this will take a little bit of explaining with you and your child. And then there's a pronounseducation.com assignment which is called sentence builder pronouns afterwards. In math, you are doing page 35, which is double digits again. And um, the most important thing on this page because the kids you know, should be able to count up the objects, whether they do it one at a time, which I don't suggest. Instead, working on counting by 10, so 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. The most important thing about this page is reminding them this is the total. So the top one is the total, and then the two little branches are the two parts of it. So if they have 20 already, What's the leftover that they still need to find to make 24? Okay, well, 10, 20, okay, there's my 20. Done with that. What's left? Four. All right. Um, and then on education.com, they will be doing addition, demolition. It is a game. In writing, they're going to be doing typing. So typing top row letters W and O. And then for religion, um, you're actually going to be doing one of our all week assignments. So you have all week to make a video or written answers for this question right here, which is how did you celebrate Easter? Why are you happy that Jesus has risen? So your child can either give you an answer and you type it up and send it to me. They could write it down if they feel like writing their answer or you can videotape them and then send it to me in an email. There's also a bonus trivia question if you wanna ask them this, they might be able to figure it out if they think back to mass. Um, and it's which word or song can we now sing in church since Jesus has risen? Hint, the song starts with A, and it's also just one word, which is why I say word or song. In science, you have a bottlenose dolphin video and it's this link right here in the plans, bottlenose dolphin. You'll go to this link and it will bring you to this video right here called Amazing Animals National Geographic Kids Bottlenose Dolphin. And the kids will watch this video. I think it's pretty short, I think maybe two minutes tops. And then afterwards, you're going to ask them to name two facts about bottlenose dolphins that they learned in the video. So two facts. And it must be something that they learned from the video, not just something that they gathered in their own minds like, oh, bottlenose dolphins are gray because they didn't talk about that in the video. It must be from the video. And <clears throat> you do not need to send me their answers, but if you want to, you're more than welcome to. Um, so for your education.com, I don't know why on mine, but it kind of... Um, sorted the assignments in the wrong order. So you'll just have to find the names from the plans. So you'll have sentence builder pronouns, addition, demolition, and the typing top row W and O. 
So that is your plans for today. I hope you guys have a great day. And as always, I am here to help. Have a wonderful day.